James Knight, and this is Sherry Zach Morris. We're both uh, yoga teachers, and I'm a Hanasomatic educator, and we've been having fun uh, teaming up together at the Yoga Vista Academy, uh, blending in these different movements and sequences for gentle, senior, chair yoga, and therape therapeutic yoga. Um, this sequence is called the Lighthouse Series, and we've adapted this specifically for the desk worker, so you can do this sitting in your chair. So if you'd like to join us, uh, first of all, just sit nice and tall towards the front of the chair, the end of the chair, and <clears throat> bring your knees out a little bit wider than the hips, and look down to make sure that your knee is also perpendicular with your ankles. So this is a fun exercise because there's a before and after. You'll hopefully experience a range of movement change for the positive. So let's start off by uh, twisting to the right. You can bring your hand somewhere down on the chair, behind you and look over your right shoulder. Pick a spot on the wall or the floor, mark your range of motion, motion and then come back to neutral. Nice, and then place your left hand on the right shoulder and begin twisting to the right. And as you twist to the right, let that left knee dip down and begin turning on your chair. Sherry's gonna show the modification for someone with a limited range of motion and then come back to center slowly and smoothly. We're going to turn the opposite direction. Everybody's going to be expressing differently, so always work within your own uh, comfort zone. We're going to do this a few times, going nice and slow. Relax the belly, relax the shoulders, the elbows resting in the center of the chest. And we'll do this one more time to the left. So I'm turning to the left right now, we're turning to the left. Let that right hip turn and roll forward a little bit and squeeze the left shoulder blade back. And coming back to neutral, I'm gonna change the instruction a little bit. Keep letting your torso turn to the right, but this time the head is gonna to turn to the left. So the left knee is gonna drop down, squeeze the right shoulder blade back, and then begin twisting to the left. The head is going to go to the right, opposite the torso. Squeeze that left shoulder blade back. And come back to neutral. I'm going to change up the instruction. This time, place your fingertips touching your chin. Every, the torso, the upper body is going to twist to the right, but the eyes are going to gaze to the left. Squeeze that sh right shoulder blade back. And as we twist to the left, eyes are going to gaze to the right. This may be difficult if you're doing this for the first time. You can close your eyes as long as you're looking underneath your eyelids. One more time to the right. Oftentimes people tease in my classes that I'm asking them to wrap, <laughs> tap the top of their head and rub their belly at the same time. And come back to neutral. So we're just going to, that's a little bit of a fun challenge. And now let's bring the right hand, excuse me, the left hand onto the right shoulder, twist all the way to the right, and then lift the elbow and the chin towards the ceiling, arching the back muscles. And then keeping the rotation to the right, bend the elbow and the chin back to the chest and round the shoulders. And we'll do this a few times. If you need to bring that left leg back in, feel free, lift the right elbow up towards the ceiling, feel the strength of your back, and then round the shoulders, bring the belly button in, chin to chest. And then to change up the instructions slightly, keep it here lifting, but let the eyes gaze down as the chin lifts. Try not to hold your breath. And then as the elbow comes down, look up, and then come back to neutral, and let's twist to the left, and we're going to finish where we started. So the whole body twists to the left. Squeeze that left shoulder blade back. And then slowly rotate to the right. Go nice and slow. If you feel any cramping in the inner groin, always adjust to your comfort zone. Let's do one more rotation to the left and relax the left elbow. I noticed mine was creeping up there. So let the upper body be soft. Except for this last part, squeeze the shoulder blade back. And then last time to the right, the 
just pivoting with the feet on the floor, letting that left hip come forward a little bit, and then release your left hand, and let's check in and notice if we've increased our range of motion. Turn all the way as comfortably as you can and notice, wow, I don't know if you can see my change. But Sherry, did you experience some change? Absolutely. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah. Come back to neutral. So this is wonderful because most of us, we get so locked into position when we're at our desks. You know, I don't know, you know what I mean? It's like oh, yeah. driving a car, Absolutely. like a race car. And so the muscles surrounding the spine get very rigid. And so this movement, it's almost like a, a wet dish rag. You know, we're rinsing out the stress in the spine and it's, it's overall good for the health of the back. It helps when you're driving too. Oh, that's true. Your right? Yeah, that's true. That's but you have to go home from work, right? Yeah. So right. I hope that helped. We're gonna, for the sake of the length of this video, of course, we can do the other side. So thanks for joining us today.